Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster back here on this Friday night, uh, party night out here. It's about uh, 9.41 p.m. here in the uh, Texas area where I'm at here in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, June 30th, 2023. Latest activity shows uh, a little bit of movement out here in California with a 1.3 showing up um, into the area currently. Let's go ahead and see what's going on out here along the West Coast, and then we'll get into the rest of the world activity still seeing a little bit of movement up here uh, this I believe this is from earlier uh, it looks like we had another earthquake this afternoon around the Petrolia area it's been heightened across this area of the plate boundary this is the Cascadia subduction zone just south here uh, seeing a little bit of slight uptick also over here around the Lake Almanor area we did see a 3.2 coming in um, in this area I'm not for sure why this is not updating but uh, there it is in the lake area, 3.2, followed up by a couple smaller earthquakes um, almost immediately after. All right, further down south into the SoCal region, watching this area across the Garlock Fault Shear Zone. Uh, looks like most of this activity came to a halt here about noon or so. We did see a 3.4 earlier, uh, way earlier this morning, just after midnight last night. Uh, that was followed up by quite a few more microquakes in the area. As uh, far as the rest of Southern California goes, a little spotty as it looks there on the map uh, across the Intermountain West regions and uh, Yellowstone. Not a whole lot going on up here currently, but we will, as always, uh, double check the uh, Yellow, uh, Yellowstone seismograph stations here. And um, let's see, not seeing a whole lot of activity. It looks like I think they had some thunderstorms popping up earlier again. I believe that's what this what this, uh, these readings are that did show up here across uh, maybe the Purple Mountain area as well, uh, Norris Junction region. So uh, even if it's earthquake activity, it's very small, not a whole lot going on, but I believe that's associated there with the thunderstorm activity earlier uh, this afternoon. All right, across the Texas area, uh, Pecos, Texas, 2.0, a couple twos out there. Uh, well south of the New Mexico border here out in the oil fields eastern portion of the country pretty quiet still seen a swarm here around the Puerto Rico trench this has been very active over the last couple days and uh, in the last few hours we've seen an uptick in earthquake activity as well uh, of course Puerto Rico trench there's a little bit of chat on the potential for a mega quake across this area um, of course, the subduction zone sits over here as well um, across this area where we have seen larger quakes. But there's a there's a little scenario uh, potential about seeing a mega quake in this region. Um, so kind of watching this area right now. Obviously, obviously, we do get some swarms on occasion. And uh, it's just been a little while, though. Uh, this is today's activity. I know we've had more in the last seven days so let's see what we got for a total tally excluding the typical swarm down here where the uh, Mariotis trough is it's always swarming kind of squeezing this whole area so to speak but we've seen two uh, separate swarms up here on the Puerto Rico trench it looks like most of this activity has occurred today so we'll keep an eye on that uh, magnitudes appear to be getting a little bit larger and the depth of these earthquakes there roughly between 79 to 91 kilometers into this area all right backing out of here south america region looks pretty quiet um, as far as the usgs goes this is the emsc model here showing the list of earthquakes um, i just pulled up 2.5 and above uh, the time frame looks like a little bit of activity of course showing up there in the uh, puerto rico area as uh, far as the Chile region goes, a 2.8, looks like a 2.9, some smaller quakes there uh, across the area. I don't think we had anything major going on uh, today aside from that uh, 5 point, uh, what was that, a 5.8 down there in the Java Trench region. Uh, let's see, what else we have? Uh, look at this, very quiet across the Tonga, Samoa area and south into the Kermadec Trench. Let's check out the GeoNet servers here real quick and see what we may have seven hours ago looks like a 2.6 uh, earthquake drums will obviously still give us a good indicator what's going on there's that 2.6 it looks like um, not a whole lot going on currently 
So things are kind of at a standstill right now. There, it's possible there may be some smaller earthquake activity here, but this is like day number two of it going absolutely quiet. So we'll watch this region closely for some uh, sudden movement. Uh, the Kilauea volcano has been updated here. Uh, let me show you guys real quick the uh, the uh, what's it called? Um, still a little bit tired. Let's see, not webcams. But I do want to check out the Kilauea. Uh, it's supposed to be the Hands Notification Network. Let me see here, volcano update. Uh, looks like they have lowered the alert level from. It was sitting at an orange and a watch. It is currently down to yellow and advisory, and that is due to the lack of activity. It just came to a halt. It ceased the eruption, far as lava goes, on June 19th, and uh, haven't really seen any um, major uptick, although we have seen some um, inflation. It hasn't really been tremendous, and uh, earthquake activity has been relatively quiet around here. So. Uh, we'll continue to watch that and see if it kicks back up. There's a 3.4 outside of Mauna Kea. Uh, but as far as the Kilauea volcano goes, uh, it's currently downgraded. All right, uh, Alaska region, some microquake activity, very typical. Most of the movement here today is noted uh, earlier was around the Java Trench. Looks like we did see a little bit of movement up here into the Myanmar area uh, and around the Taiwan region with some fours kicking off in the last few hours. Not a whole lot of activity across the Mediterranean for now in the Atlantic of 4.6 coming in earlier this afternoon in the divergent boundaries. Uh, let's check out the uh, trimmer here tonight along the Cascadia. Let's see what we got, zero. Once again, zero epicenters of trimmer along the Cascadia. Solarham.net. The uh, website here monitoring space weather activity. We're still kind of watching this sunspot. Uh, beautiful feature here, but it is drifting off here towards the northwestern quadrant of the sun. It is big. Definitely uh, a massive sunspot area. And it's still, you know, look at these cores in here. There's quite a bit of complex structure. Uh, it does harbor some potential for some stronger flares, but just right now it's kind of staying uh, fairly steady. But that's always subject to change. We can definitely keep an eye on it. That is one massive sunspot. Uh, overall threat: 99% chance for C flare, M flare at 35, X flare around X, yeah, X flare potential around the 5% chance range. Uh, let's see. I think that's about it for um, the uh, space weather activity. Uh, tomorrow's severe weather threat here looks like a little bit of activity across Texas. Main region is going to be uh, up around the uh, well, portions of Tennessee, Ohio, Missouri, Indiana. All these areas here have a, a little bit of a chance of severe weather tomorrow with a main threat. It looks like it's going to be some uh, straight line winds uh, coming into the uh, St. Louis, Missouri area, Springfield, Illinois, Evansville, Indiana. So if you're out there tomorrow, uh, definitely keep your eyes on the sky. It is the weekend, so a lot of folks will be home. Uh, aside from that, folks, I think I am going to call it a night. I uh, spent most of my day out in the golf s swimming here. A little bit. Uh, I didn't go way out there, but uh, first time ever I can say that I got stung by jellyfish uh, never been stung before um, but that changed today got, got stung about five times uh, during the hours that I was out here and I, I think they're like little pink jellyfish you can see the the marks um, following the burning sensation you, you really don't know you're getting stung until after it's happened uh, but they're out there uh, no shark sightings but uh, jellyfish it was a jellyfish type of day today, so I thought I'd share that little remark or little incident here. All right, we'll see you guys back here tomorrow sometime. Um, until then, enjoy your Friday night, and make sure you guys stay safe out there. Have a good one.